on this video I'm going to be finishing up the install on the explosion proof Jenny fan. Now some of you guys may remember I bought this I believe it was around last fall sometime and it wound up being pretty much junk so I went ahead and I rebuilt it and kind of refurbished all the powder coating and everything and, and got it looking new again. I've also got a brand new shutter to install. For any of my new subscribers that has not seen the videos on this Jenny fan, I'll put links in the description below for you to check out those videos prior to watching this install video. So let's take a look at the project. So you guys probably remember this Jenny fan being restored. This is a 16 inch variable speed explosion proof fan and like I mentioned to have new shutters to go with it went ahead and bought a new set this is also a Jenny fan and it's a 20 inch variable speed and it does a really good job at getting out the overspray I have noticed that once the overspray falls to a certain level it just winds up on the floor and so what I'm hoping to do is to go ahead and install this one just below the one that's already here and go ahead and get it uh, pretty much the same type of install as what I have here now I do know that there is a header above this fan opening in the wall that goes all the way down below so I'm not worried about uh, hurting the integrity of the strength of the wall by cutting this hole out. So guys, this is not gonna be a how-to by any means cause I'm not a carpenter, but I will bring you along for some of it. Like I said, the biggest thing is just gonna be getting the hole in the right spot and then figuring out how I want to mount the shutters and also how I want to mount the fan. The outside of the building is vinyl, so there will be a little bit of vinyl work as well. So let's take a look at that. I'm down here at the side of the building and you can see that opening right there where the previous fan is installed and you can see how they did that. The contractors when they built the building did all that for me. They're actually the ones that mounted that fan. We're going to be coming in somewhere right in this area below it and you can see they trimmed it out with some flashing and I don't have a brake so I'm probably I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this yet. okay YouTube right here is gonna be my cutout and go go ahead and make the trim 2x6 come right up against that red border just like up top and then that'll give me some room for my 2x6 that are at the bottom as well guys this is going to be the next step of the process is figuring out exactly where this is going to mount and basically cutting the OSB so that this frame will stick through it and I think this is going to be the most challenging part of the whole thing because I want to get it right 
pin is actually going to mount on the two by sixes that I secured to the wall. But I just want to make sure we get this part in there right and pretty much in line with the other one. So I'm going to do some measuring and some deciphering and I'll bring you back when I have a little bit more show. So I've made a cardboard template out of the box and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut the hole out. I've also removed the vinyl from the outside and uh, once we get this uh, hole cut we can start building our frame. Alright guys, it's in the hole, it looks good, it's just a little bit off from being level so I'm going to trim some more on my wood here so I can make some adjustments to make it level and uh, then I'm going to clean up again. For those guys that ask if my shop ever gets dirty, here is proof it is dirty. <laughs> okay guys, I've got the... Uh, shutters installed here. My friend Terry stopped by. He's a really good vinyl man. So I got him on the outside and he helped me with the vinyl. I didn't really film any of that but let's walk around there and take a look at it. So there is the first look of the shutter from the outside. Now that shutter is a little smaller than what's on the top being that that fan that goes into that area is a lot bigger. Like I mentioned, it's a 20 inch and this one's a 16. And I did go with the same color of J as the vinyl. And I really like it. I think it looks really good and uh, I think it looks like something that uh, has always been there. Well, YouTube, I really wanted to see this fan in this hole today, but it ain't gonna happen. I'm out of caulk, everything that I've got is dried up, and um, I wanted to caulk this area here around the perimeter before I actually stuck the fan up. I did go ahead and cut a little bit more sheetrock out so that uh, I just have room to frame it in, and then, like I said, we're gonna. I'm going to trim everything out with some 2 by 6s but uh, that's where I'm at. I've got a mess to clean up and I'm exhausted. It's about 7 o'clock at night and uh, we'll start cleaning up. We'll run to town in the morning, get some caulk and hit it again. Hey YouTube, it's the next day. I went to town, I got my caulk and a few other things and I'm back to working on the fan install. I've got the uh, I've got the frame here painted. I just put uh, one good coat on it just to kind of protect this wood in case sometimes you get a storm or something and it may blow some water in. But I've also went ahead and caulked around the edges. But I'm going to go ahead and mount my 2x6 framing 
and get started to figure out exactly where I'm going to mount this fan on this frame. I'm going to go ahead and finish the framework and then I'll be ready to start making my filter bank. Okay guys, so I'm not real sure exactly where I left off. Last time I was filming the camera was acting funny. It said it was out of memory and was shutting down and I didn't realize that it had shut down. So I lost some footage. I've since uh, cleaned everything out of it and actually reformatted my card. So hopefully that won't happen again. But I've got the bottom fan trimmed out. And while I was at it, I decided to go ahead and pull the top fan. And do a little bit of maintenance in there as far as cleaning the shutter. And we're going to be cleaning up that fan. But overall, I like the way it's turning out. My carpentry work's a little to be desired. Got a few little gaps in some places. Nothing that a little caulk didn't take care of. So I've got everything really sealed up good. Tried to get these pieces here as tight as I could, but I still just wind up just with a slight gap. I think I had one right in here on this one as well. But like I said, once you caulk it and paint it, pretty much goes away. I'm actually going to make the filter bank on this fan the same size as this one. Even though this is a bigger fan, that way it just looks uniform. This is the 20 inch fan that I took out. Why it looks really dirty, all of this is just basically overspray. It should clean up really good. None of this is dried. Some of it might be, but I think it's going to clean up fine. This is actually before I had put the filter bank on it. When we were building the garage, my drywall guy was using it to evacuate some of the uh, painting and, and drywall finish work and everything. So a lot of that came from all that, which I ain't going to worry about it. You can even see some mud here. Drywall mud. I ain't going to worry about that. I mean, it is, a, it is exhaust fans, but I am going to clean it up while I got it all the way out and uh, just do a little maintenance to it. The other reason that I pulled this top fan is I figured there wasn't any caulk in here. And I wanted to go ahead and, while I was doing the bottom one, I wanted to go ahead and caulk this area right here. And while we've got it apart, we might as well paint in here and make it look just like the one that, one that we did here. This one was done by my contractors and then I just came in and I just painted around it afterwards. So guys, I like the way it's turning out. I'm gonna get busy caulking that upper opening and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean up this old fan and build the filter bank for the new one and hopefully wrap this project up. This has been a lot longer project than I anticipated. You guys might remember just how dirty that fan was, but it all cleaned up. Just the rags, and some soap and water. And now it's time to install it. Okay, YouTube, you guys getting as sick of this project as I am. So I've got everything painted, everything caulked. I will do a final paint once I get the filter bank put on. I've got it to a point that uh, it's time to set the fans. 